uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, so my talk is about the first step uh, of configuration in, in accounting. As you may know, uh, the accounting is one of the key elements of your company. Here, I will just go through uh, a small introduction, a use case, and then I will show you the configuration step. And we'll finish by a conclusion and a small uh, Q&A session. So as I just said, the accounting is the centerpiece of a uh, is a key element of your company. It, it, it is impacted by many apps. It is in integrated with the, the sales app, the purchase app, the inventory, and many other, many other ones. Uh, the, the purpose of that is just to have a good aging reports, invoices, uh, legal, and tax reports. Uh, this is why the setup of the, of the accounting is very important. Uh, and Odoo has decided to uh, develop uh, a small tool to help you to, to configure your, your accounting <coughs> in a basic way, just to, you can begin with the accounting and then you have to do also other uh, configuration, but just to have the, the basis. So the use case, just imagine that you're uh, the accounting of a new uh, SM, SME and you, uh, you just uh, download the new app uh, of about uh, on accounting. So let's just make a small, I will make a small d demo. So if you go on your uh, accounting dashboard, you'll see that you have this small new feature, which is uh, a progression bar, just to show you what you need to do first when you want to uh, implement uh, the, the accounting in your company. So first, you have the company data. This is, sorry. So in this case, this is important because on your uh, invoices, for example, you have the you have the address of the company in the in the footer. You have the the, v, the VAT, so the TIN here. You have other information that are really uh, important to be on your report to uh, to 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 begin to use uh, the accounting. Just so in this case, just uh, okay. I will just put my street like. Uh, And then one, once you're ready, you just have to click on Mark as done, or you can just save and come back later. So you see, there is not, no, nothing happened now, but if in this case I just Mark as done, you have a small V which is appear uh, on the screen. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Second step, this is the bank account. So you can directly uh, set your, uh, main, your main bank account from this screen. You just have to, to type it, to, to, to type. You can choose your uh, bank statement, uh, the feeds, uh, how you want to, uh, to import your, your bank statement, but you can do it later also. And if you, want, if you have several uh, bank accounts, which is uh, the case in many, in, in many companies, you can just click here and you'll go directly to the, to the bank uh, configuration and you can add and you can create a new, uh, new bank account easily. So just imagine that, okay, for me it's okay, just mark as done. Next step, this is the fiscal year. So unless if you are a, a new company, you need to, uh, to, to define your, uh, your opening date. So it means that it will be the, the first, the, the day you uh, begin to use uh, the company. So you make your uh, initial balances. So this is this day, for example. So just imagine that I, uh, I wanted to make my uh, initial balance uh, last Monday and my uh, fiscal year is finishing uh, on 31st of December. Just mark it in. Then you have the chart of account. Uh, in many companies, uh, you have uh, different accounts. You can uh, create your own one. This is why we decide you, we want you to, to check, to cross check with your uh, existing chart of account. if what is existing in Odoo is, uh, is, uh, is okay for you. Uh, Odoo is in, uh, installs automatically the um, chart of account of your uh, localization, but in many cases you can just, uh, for example, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah. you can just uh, have several accounts for your customer or you have different things, so you need to cross-check it just to be sure that you have the good, uh, the good account defined. So you can directly create uh, your, your account from here. 
you can easily change the name, uh, change the code, and the type. And moreover, if you want, you can also directly uh, put your opening debit and uh, credit, and it will take the date uh, I have set on the on the previous step. So, for example, just for capital opening debit, just ten thousand. Okay, save. I go back to my coding dashboard, and now you see again, you have the small v which is uh, appearing on the screen. Last step. You go to your initial balance. This is why I've I already put uh, ten thousand uh, in the in the capital. So it will take your uh, the, the the balance you've put uh, you have insert in the in the chart of account, and then here you can also uh, make your uh, you can also make yours. And if you see there, you have directly the the date that I've uh, set it on the previous previous uh, uh, step. And then you just need to post it, and uh, it's okay. You have all your uh, all your all your step are done. So this is just to this is just to uh, to have the basic thing in the in the in the in the accounting. This is not maybe enough if you want to use uh, completely the this module. But at least if you are a new uh, user of Odoo, a new uh, accountant, and you don't know by uh, what you need to do first, this is, it will show you uh, easily, this is uh, super fast, super clean, and you just see it, and you, it's very intuitive, so that's just to, to make it easy for you. So. Uh, sorry, if I want to import already a uh, chart of account. Yes, this is totally uh, visible. Uh, just you can just here you have the import uh, button, and then you just make the, the import uh, as you as you will do uh, easily. So uh, with uh, an Excel file or a CSV file. So what's the export? I want to export the current, change it, and import. It. Okay, just you select everything, okay. action, export. Okay. Then you can choose the field you want. And then you just need to to, uh, to adapt it and to re-import it uh, after. But here, as I said, we made uh, sorry. Uh, okay, I've already uh, validated. But uh, at the beginning, I was uh, it was <coughs> it was possible to directly uh, change the name or, or, or the type. So this is easy. But with the with the export and the import, it, there is no problem here. As I said, this is uh, So the, the, the goal is just okay. Set your accounting application to have the required basic configuration. So as, as I said uh, earlier, how you just need to follow this five step. So that's uh, very easy. And then at the end, just to be sure that your accounting is set correctly. To have the good reports, to have the the good uh, legal report <coughs> voices, uh, okay. so, uh, this is uh, a new step. Yeah. Uh, so you can import new lines of uh, new account, but if you want to import the whole chart of account, mm -hmm. then you will need also to work the existing one. <coughs> and how is the process? Because if I try to drop it, then it, it won't let me drop the existing account. So what is the process? Uh, actually, you cannot uh, delete an account, uh, I think, I'm not really sure, but uh, what you can <coughs> do is just you can make the, the account uh, not visible, so you don't see it anymore, and you can... Uh, like let's say you want to totally switch the, the chart of account. Uh, you have to uh, uninstall the chart of account uh, with the accounting app, and this is uh, something a bit uh, uh, hard to do because you can create a mistake, but... Uh, at the beginning uh, of your company, if you want to switch totally, uh, you can. But once you have something uh, recorded in your account, <coughs> you can't you can't make this change. So uh, you need to do it at the beginning of the company, and this is not <coughs> something really easy to do, but uh, it's possible. Maybe you can check uh, after together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so
presentation is already over. Uh, this is a small one. Uh, so uh, question is. In version 10, there was a lot of uh, small mistakes according to the class of the taxes or tax accounts and linked with the uh, local with the localization what we have in general and example. Would you advise if we cross check everything with the tax account in that example or would you say everything is fine and we can definitely uh, This is something uh, regarding the localization, so and we have uh, developed some uh, new uh, localization uh, for the new feature. So I'm actually yeah. comparing it right now. Okay. And uh, so, yes, I advise you to cross-check uh, because this is something, uh, okay, the accounting is different in every country, so we can't be uh, exactly uh, perfect uh, in each one. So, yes, cross-check it with an accountant, and I guess you are sure that you already use the accountant.